What's up everyone and welcome to Jayconomics. My name is Jay and it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we take a look at anything related to finance with a strong focus on investing. So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, then please consider subscribing and liking this video to help me on my quest to befriend the big, bad YouTube algorithm. Okay, so I've never done one of these market correction, market crash videos because A, no one knows when that is going to happen, and if they act like they do, then they are full of crap. And B, because every time we have any sort of bad news, there are hundreds of YouTubers lining up to make crash videos strictly for the views. Now, this is not going to be a doomsday video, and it will certainly not be a fear-mongering speculation video either, because again, no one knows. If I ever tried to tell you anything about this, you would need to turn off the video immediately. But no, instead, this video is going to be focused on mindset and how having the right mindset will make these days a lot easier on yourself emotionally and financially. Before we get into it, if you want to grow your portfolio exponentially, be sure to check out our Smart Money Squad Patreon. There are various tiers for your goals and budget. You'll get my buy and sell alerts instantly, my weekly watch list and entry points every Sunday, as well as updates throughout the week when I see something interesting in the market and access to the private Discord. The link for that is in the description below. So the stock market tanked on Tuesday, gains evaporated for many, and for some, the red day turned them into bag holders. Thursday, the market was down again, and there's a lot of uncertainty floating in the air right now. The thing is, we've become so accustomed to lots of green and explosive moves almost daily that we've become spoiled brats in this market. People want no, people expect their stocks to double in a day or a week, and if their stocks go down 5 to 10%, maybe 20%, they lose patience, sell, and move on to the next. Now I can't begin to tell you how wrong and how dangerous this way of thinking is. You should always be ready for a day, or days, or even weeks like this. These are the times that separate the winners and the losers in the stock market. It's the actions that you take or the lack of actions that determine this. So should you sell, hold, buy the dip? What should you do? Well, the simplest answer is this. It all depends on your goals, financial situation, and emotional state slash personality. I'll expand on that in just a second. So this year has brought many retail investors to the market, and many of you watching are new to this. Since the crash in March of 2020, we've seen stocks go up and up and up. This is not how the market works. A lot of investors turned into gamblers, and the entire market had turned into a lottery that would simply just print money. As Warren Buffett says, be greedy when others are fearful, and be fearful when others are greedy. You see, the stock market as it is now is 75% investor psychology and 25% fundamentals. Get away from groupthink. Once a stock goes mainstream, of course there are exceptions, but most of the time, it's too late for an explosive return. And not only that, you also dramatically increase your risk. When your friend, who is not a seasoned investor, starts hyping a stock and cannot even explain what the company does in detail, yeah, it's time to get out of that stock if the fundamentals are simply not there. Because over time, that's what will sustain a stock and a rally. That's how I see it at least. And that's what has helped me to be consistently so successful with my stock picks. Now, long term. This is an important concept. It seems as though long-term investors are going extinct. If a stock doesn't go up within a week or two, there's something wrong and the stock is a scam. Conviction and patience, ladies and gentlemen. 
These two things will bring you a long way. When stocks have run so much purely on hype and excitement and are currently extremely overvalued for where the business is at currently, well, things get rather disconnected and you get caught up in this weird kind of world of my stock can't fail. Now, I'm not saying that I don't trade because I do. I have a trading account in which I do day trades and several swing trades. However, those of you who have followed this channel since day one, well, you guys know that I invest with a long-term vision and hopes for short-term gains. Pick winners and stick with them. Let those winners build your wealth over the long run. As investors, we need to learn patience and we need to learn to take emotions out of our investing. The stock market is a device which transfers wealth from the impatient to the patient. Remember that when you are busy being fearful and impatient and selling a stock, a patient and greedy investor is buying those shares from you and is going to enjoy those big, massive profits. This is all about mindset. And this mindset, it takes time, it takes experience, and it takes dedication to build. But it is necessary if you want to be a successful stock picker in the long run. Now back to what I was saying earlier, you gotta ask yourself, what are your goals with your investments? Are you investing your life savings and putting yourself in a bad spot if the market were to have a major correction or crash? How about your emotional state? Are you going to panic? Will owning the stocks you own make you lose sleep at night? Will it affect you mentally and by extension physically? If the answer to any of these questions was yes, you need to rethink your investing strategy and come up with a more suitable plan for yourself because there's not a one size fits all in investing. Perhaps your portfolio is too risky for your personality. Now it's easy to get too complacent and too overconfident when the market is bullish and everything is green. But what happens when that changes? What are you going to do then? I want to ask you, I want, I want you to ask yourself these questions and really think deeply about the answers and act accordingly. Now moving on, which stocks did I pick up on Tuesday's massive dip and what stocks am I watching very closely to potentially pick up more of if we see further dips in the coming days and weeks? Well, the first one I was looking at, the first one that I increased my position is AITX. Now, yes, this is an OTC play, but it's a strong one in my opinion and one that has a very, very bright future. This is a play in AI and robotics. And if you want to learn more about this company, I interviewed Steve, their CEO, and you can find that on the channel. It's, I think, a very informative interview, and I think it can bring you a lot of value. Next on the list uh, is ESE Entertainment. Now, I just just posted a, another video about ESE Entertainment a couple of days ago. My first video on ESE was in December. Uh, again, ESE was one of my only stocks that were green um, yesterday. And this stock has now overtaken CloudMD as the single largest position in my portfolio as it has just performed like an absolute beast ever since I bought it. I'm up 600% on it now, and I remain extremely bullish on it. A very high conviction pick for me. And for today, again, while the market saw a mostly red day, ESE reached a high, an all-time high of $3.69 Canadian, up over 30% at one point, and ended up uh, at closing at $3.16 Canadian. So if you want to learn more about ESE, check out either of these videos that you see on screen here. Next one is uh, Loop Insights, which is a play in AI and IoT. I've been picking this one up for pff, about a month now, just adding on this dip in consolidation. I just interviewed the CEO. You can check that out. Um, that video was posted yesterday, so you can uh, definitely go check that out now. And uh, Peak Fintech, this is one that I really, really love, very bullish on. Um, it's one that I featured on, on the channel a 
couple months back. It was trading at $1.25 Canadian at the time. It's traded as high as three over $3. Now it's just under $3. I did pick some more up uh, yesterday and um, lots of catalysts ahead for peak. They're uplisting to the NASDAQ. They're changing their, their, their name. So lots of, lots of really cool stuff happening with peak. Very undervalued fintech play there. Um, and listen, I've, like I said, I've done a video on all these stocks. So, you know, you can find all these on my channel for more information on them. And uh, hopefully that can be informative and valuable for you. Other than that, I also opened a position in Fortress Technologies. Um, this is a crypto miner being heavily undervalued by the market currently. So, you know, those are the five long term plays that I've been adding um, to in terms of stocks. Now, outside of stocks, and sticking in the crypto space, because y'all know how bullish I am on crypto, I've recently been adding to both of my positions in ADA Cardano and VET, VeChain, as I remain extremely bullish on both, and I think these can bring massive exponential returns in the future, even though I've already 20X'd, yeah, 20X'd on Cardano and 5X'd on VeChain so far. These are cryptocurrencies that I believe have a very, important use case and have extremely bright futures ahead of them. So look, bottom line, what I really want you to take away from this video is this. Stocks will go up or down over the years, depending on how the business fares over the long term. So regardless of what is happening around you in the short term, you need to ignore the noise. Stop falling for the fear mongering everywhere. And Again, do what is best for you and your portfolio and your personality. If you absolutely need this money and you're investing it in high risk stocks or, you know, stocks that are very volatile, shall I say, then you need to rethink your strategy as simple as that. Don't put yourself in a bad situation and, and it's just going to make you lose sleep at night, right? I can, I can lose 20% of my portfolio tomorrow and I, I'll be able to sleep at night because I'm very comfortable with where I am. The money that I have in there is, is, is money that I'm not gonna need. And the companies that I've chosen are long-term picks that I have very high conviction in. So just keep that in mind. And look, time in, time in the market beats timing the market. Almost 99% of the time. So be careful on that and keep that in mind. Now, if you're invested in a solid business that you believe in and understand then you, you need to not worry about short-term price action. This, the market will do what it wants, right? Refrain from being emotional when the market is doing what it wants. Choose companies that you love long-term and hope for short-term gains. If these stocks get way too ahead of themselves based on nothing else other than hype, then it could be very well worth considering selling off a portion of your position for profits and to get your initial investment back, for example. Keeping cash on the sideline for the next opportunity that comes your way, and even potentially buying back in that same stock once it, you know, once it comes back down, once it dips, because every stock will dip. Okay, so I hope that I've given you stuff to really think about and really analyze within your own portfolio strategy. So that wraps it up for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you did, please let me know in the comments what you think, what your thoughts are on the market right now. Should I do more videos like this that are more focused on mindset and, you know, talking, just, just being real with you guys. If you guys appreciate this kind of content, let me know. And if it did bring you some value, then please hit that like button for me as it really does help the channel a lot. And if you want more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be notified when any new video comes out. And of course, please feel free to join the Smart Money Squad Discord server and Patreon. The links for that, for those, are in the description below. And until next time, take care and invest smart.